Hello, everybody, and welcome to the NACE Rocket League Super Conference. First game is going to be St. Clair College versus West Virginia University. I'm Matthias, also known as Mothize, and I'm joined by Patrick Smoke Chambers. How are you feeling about this next game, Patrick? Wow, I mean, the energy from you is insane. Uh, honestly, I'm excited. It's a big game. I, it, is, it is a very big game. Obviously, we saw last week that our Saints varsity premier green roster won in the Battle of St. Clair. So they will be competing in the Super Conference, which is happening today. Like you said, West Virginia University, them having the roster of Angel, Tool, and Daunt. And our roster having the lineup of Fabso, Jazzy, and Zai. Exactly. And we have an interview with one of those players coming up in just a a few seconds but before we transition to that what do you think will go on here today Patrick well this is big you know I've done these uh, coverage on these two rosters for a little while now I know that uh, just for fun in the um 1v1 open for North America, I saw, uh, well, not I saw, but I uh, witnessed, you know, Jazzy and Zai performing really well. I believe Jazzy finished top 33, and I believe Zai finished top 12, so that was really impressive. But now, going back on to the desk, we have the interview ready. We have Jazzy here on the desk. Welcome, my man. Well, how's it? You know, nice, how's it going? Nice to be here. It's good. going good. Scrims are going good so far. Everything has been going pretty decent, I would say. Yeah. yeah. And you know, we were. Uh, I get, Matthias was just, yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> introducing himself, and we saw you guys were scrimming. Do you care to tell who you were scrimming just before your game? Uh, just before our game, we scrimmed um, Tikra, Polar, Nex, mm -hmm. and Cosmic, um, and his roster. And scrims have been going very well. Like, can't complain so far. We have improved like a lot, I would say, since the first day we came here. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's nice. Yeah, things are, so the team dynamic, even, you know, coming across countries, is still tight-knit, looking good, right? Yeah, it's still right. looking very good. Even better, I would say, in NA so far. Because we just, like, enjoyed exactly. the game way more, like, a whole different thing again. Right. So we're very excited about that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah I want to talk to you, obviously, because last time, last game, you guys ended up qualifying as the roster that will be going to Hugh Fest. You know, uh, just tell me, how are you feeling about that? Because we never got to see, you know, or hear what you felt about that. How do you feel about going to Hugh Fest? And uh, what do you think you're going to do over there? Um, I'm very excited. It's going to be like my first time being in the USA, basically. Mm -hmm. Uh, so very excited to like as well see Paula again. I've, I've teamed with Paula back then in Germany for, yep. for the German League. So I'm going to have fun with him, with Next, with the other European guys, meet and other, other NA players. It's just going to be fun, like the first land in the USA <laughs> or like Canada, or like NA in general. So, so nice to be here. <laughs> yeah, it sounds very, very exciting. But what's also exciting is the upcoming first game here. It's going to be the first game we'll be playing on stream, I'm assuming here, f at the Saints. So... How are you feeling going up against your opponents, West Virginia? How are you feeling? Um, I gotta say, West Virginia is probably like one of the strongest roster in the league. So I'm still confident, but it's gonna be a very tough matchup for sure. Like if we don't play our best, it's gonna be very hard. But if we play good right now, we will take the series for sure. All right, all right. Have any more questions, Patrick? Yeah, I mean, you know, Angel, Tool, Daunt, I just want to know, have you played against any of those guys before? I'm assuming so. Uh, uh, I know sometimes in the CRL World Championships, both of your teams have been uh, in, or at least, I guess, no, n I guess uh, Fabzo and Zai at least have those yeah. two. I guess from those two, do you know about Angel, Tool, and Daunt and what they bring to the table? Yeah. What are their strengths and how are you going to, like, break that down today? Mm, I've probably known them for, like, over two years now, just right. name-wise, but I've never played them myself since it's my first time like being in the collegiate scene, basically. Right. Um, but from what I've seen, they're like a very good team. And when like uh, Psy and Fabso won the CL last year, they also said West Virginia was the strongest team right. of the tournament, basically. Yeah, well, that I think that's it from us, right? Say, yeah, I wish you the best of luck. We're coming in on your game time now, but thank you very much for joining us up here on the desk. It was a joy. Thank you. It was a joy being here. Awesome, thank awesome. Thank you. And now let's dive into this. Well, again, just some context for both of these rosters uh, as far as CRL or just accomplishments in general. On the side of WVU, Daunt has qualified to the RLCS 2024 uh, with Netherland America, uh, yeah, Nether America Canada uh, qualifying twice in Open Qualifier 4 and Open Qualifier 5. Angel and Tool are also longtime teammates on both WVU and their pro team 0 to 1. They've qualified together once in RLCS 2024 in Open Qualifier 6. So 
as Jazzy was saying, very high level of competition for those who don't know. That is tier one for Rocket League. The top four teams going to any majors that happen along the way through the three splits. Exactly. They have a lot of accomplishments on the side of West Virginia, but over here on the Saints Green team, they have their own accomplishments as well. They've both, uh, I think many people on the team have been to the CRL, winning a championship in 2023, and the staff, uh, the coach winning uh, the Uni Rocketeers. Rocketeers. Yeah, so right, a yeah. lot of laurels, a lot of accomplishments on this team. It's looking pretty stacked. And from the confidence from the interview, he's looking pretty good, you know. Of course, you have to be a realist. You cannot assume that's going to be a complete stomp. Like he said, they need to play clean. This is no team at Disney's at. This is no team to slouch on. So they got to lean in, dial in, and get ready for one heck of a fight. Right. I mean, as someone who follows RLCS on, you know, my own accord, I also do know <laughs> that Jazzy has also finished top 12, and I believe it was open qualifier two in the RLCS earlier this year. It would have been sometime in early February. And I know that they went one and three in Swiss, but again, it was up against some pretty top talent. And, uh, you know, again, to be able to take a series in Swiss in the actual top 16 RLCS that happens on stream it was pretty cool looking back on it to say like, oh yeah, you know what? I have actually watched Jazzy play in the RLCS before. So just having him here and really just having him on the team, it's kind of surreal for me because I've kind of watched these players play down in Europe for a really long time. So now that they've actually come over here, it's kind of it's kind of crazy because it's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's insane, and I'm just very glad to have them here. I hope they've enjoyed their time so far here in Canada. And I mean, it, so it sounds like from what I've heard, from yeah, what I've heard, they've been having a lot of fun. <laughs> but I know they've been training very hard as well. I mean, like just listen to the people that are scrimming with some very top level teams there. Nothing yeah. to slouch in. They're coming hot off of that. I think they're ready for anything here. But nonetheless, let's get some predictions, some score predictions. It's a, right. it's a best of five. What do you think it's going to be? So, again, best of five. I'm thinking that our Saints roster should come away with this one. But, again, it's going to be very tough. Of course, WVU being one of the top teams in just North America in terms of the collegiate scene. And I really think that they're going to give us our money's worth. However, I do think this trio of Jazzy, Fabzo, and Zai – are just so elite in their own right. They've looked so good uh, throughout any time I've watched them, whether it's CRL, whether it's from the Challengers Road, I believe, um, 1v1 NA tournament. I know it's not 1v1. I know it's not 1v1, <laughs> but I'm just saying, these players look damn good. Mm -hmm. Especially Zai is, is really on another wave right now as he finished top 12 in that tournament. So, again, I think he's really feeling his mechs. I think he's going to be kind of the uh, key for uh, putting them in the back of the net. But... I want to turn my attention to Fabso. I think because of Fabso and the way he kind of spark plugs the attack, mm -hmm. he's always the one who can control his 50s really well. We watched it against St. Clair Gold. I really liked how every time he was on the ball, he was always making sure those slight adjustments for his car were forcing 50s, which bought time for the first man to rotate back, grab boost, and then in turn let the third man come up and was ready for the shot. I think the way the rotations worked were so clean, and I think that was off the back of Fabso. Give me the mm -hmm. Saints in a three to two. I think it goes all five games. I think it's going to be an absolute barn burner, but I think I got I the Saints so coming too. out on top. I think so too. You also have to think about the mental aspect of it. Both these teams are very well prepared for it, but I think there's a little bit of nerves here on this green team. If this doesn't start off very well, I think it might look pretty dire. I think I could very well see them potentially losing the first two games and then turning around in a reverse sweep, potentially. You think a reverse if, sweep's going to happen? I think it could happen if things don't go well initially. I still think they're going to win, but it's only if they don't stir things off hot. You know, if they don't get that first goal soon enough, if things aren't looking great. But I believe in them. I'm confident. They seem to be hot on the heels of their scrims, and I think they're going to do well. So I'll be honest. Here's my take. <laughs> if WVU take the first two games... The, I, I'm sorry, Angel, Tool, and Daunt are too good that I think that they're going to, if they get a two-game lead, if they're seriously up 2-0, they're going to close it out, whether mm -hmm. it be 3-1 or 3-2. I, I think it goes the same way. If we find that our roster's up 2-0, I would expect them to be able to close it out. Players at this level don't tend to make very many mistakes and if they do, they usually also have the mental fortitude to make the adjustment very quickly. 
We saw in the last week's series how the Saints' gold roster caught this roster off guard by scoring, I believe it was the first two goals, Mm -hmm. off the back of some sloppy rotations, and they were leaving players back in 1v2s and just leaving the net open. And I think that won't happen because they immediately realized what the problem was. They flipped the switch. They demoed. They started demoing in the back half of the gold roster. They started taking those bo- those boost pads and sealing them away from the Saints gold roster. And eventually, it just became so aggressive that it was just shot after shot after shot. And and the thing is, that's what good teams are able to do. They're able to pick apart. They're able to pick apart those little intricacies while in game. And they can make that adjustment within a fly. I don't think any of these teams should take a 2-0. If they do, that's really <laughs> surprising. And I think I just don't see it going the other way. Because teams at this level should be able to close I out. I think you're right. I think it, theoretically, you're right. But in actuality, <laughs> crazy things happen. And I just want something crazy to happen like that. That would just be an amazing story to tell initially. But officially we're going to be getting right into this match the engines are starting to roar very soon enough but you know it's at times like these that you need to take a breath you need to get calm you need to lock in and get ready for an absolutely amazing amazing match here we are the kickoff has started that's going to be going over to the Saints side they got to clear this ball out west virginia going on an absolute tear here but st Clair quickly regaining control Right, and again, something that's going to be key in this matchup, I want to see how Fabso controls the midfield like he was in that last series again. Definitely a very tough matchup, and there you go, already starting off with the demos and the bumps. Jazzy, the pass, the bump onto the keeper, but Tool comes in to save his teammate. Absolutely amazing save from Tool here, and then he is the Tool that is opening up the Saints right now. It seems like things are not looking great. There's a lot of pressure from West Virginia. They need to clear this ball. They need to get control of this ball and start putting an offensive of their own. Nice pass from Jet to Jazzy, but a huge save from Angel as well off the backboard here. It's going to be up in the air, heading towards the Saints. This is just back and forth right now. You can definitely tell these teams are an absolutely amazing match for each other. And that was a big read by Angel. It just gra- it lets Tool get that 100 pad. Now he has boost in the back foot. But Fabso able to clear this one back out. Pinched back for the clear. And right now a little bit of volleyball being played. Fa- Jazzy trying to see if he can get the read. Gets the bump instead. Fine side for the shot. And it's an absolute cannon placed upper right. That's going to be Sai getting the first goal out of... I wouldn't even say out of the booth. That was very calculated top right corner, unblockable. An absolutely amazing start for the Saints. I don't see that reverse sweep happening anytime soon. They're going to carry on this momentum throughout the rest of the match. Well, that's a very bold prediction. But again, we'll see how it goes. You might have the call of the year if that's how it stands. Jazzy with a solo play now. Has Zai in the back. Probably going to call for help now from one of his two teammates to go up. There's Zai. He might have a flip on this ball trying to go for the reset. Has it. Able to put it through the defense. And wow, I did not think that was going to fall at first. Zai with zero boost on the flip reset, but he's going to be able to just loft it over the defender and Tool's not able to get the save in time as he was on zero boost. Yeah, that is an absolutely amazing start. Seems like after that first goal, the limiters are removed. They just feel so much more free to go for these insane plays. Absolute all-out aggression from the Saints so far off the top. Now West Virginia bolstering the defense. They can't let another one go through. A three-goal gap would be a little bit too wide to close. But an absolutely amazing assault from the Saints almost gets another goal. And Sai with the fake, I thought Fabso had the shot there, but it was a brilliant defensive uh, play from West Virginia, just keeping safe right now on the dribble. Fabso's going to be able to challenge, and now he wants to stay with this. Zero boost, he steals the 100, though, and now it's going to have to be saved off the backboard by West Virginia. Saved off the backboard here, going for a goal. Angel going to get disrupted. It's back on the orange side. Saints keeping up the pressure. West Virginia trying to do their damnedest, but it's not going to be enough. Sai getting a three goal. <laughs> three goals. A hat trick, back to man. back to back. A hat trick. It's crazy. I cannot believe it. So again, that's coming off the back of Jazzy, who actually tries to redirect the ball. But I don't know if it was a try to redirect or if it was a potential fake. But again, matter on the side of West Virginia University, who I'm assuming could be Daunt. I don't, I don't know the confirmation, but assuming it is, it was a great play from Jazzy to fake that out. Matter's trying to read the redirect, but it just doesn't come through. 
come through just yet, but now they're looking for a goal and they're doing a good job on this onslaught, but it's not going to be good enough. It gets cleared out. Angel continuing to try and win the 50. Doesn't get it, though. It's going to be inside once again. He's looking for blood here. He's trying to get another goal on the board, and they just might be able to do it, but gets blocked out by Tool. Now we're back to basics here. Big opening for West Virginia. They try and take a goal once again, but it's not going to be good enough. Things are looking a little bit dire for the Saints. They're on the back foot once again, but they managed to clear out the goal every single time. And right now I'll tell you why the Saints are finding so much success. They're going for bumps and demos in the back end of West Virginia University. That's the difference because right now, St. Clair, the reason why they've been able to keep the offense going and not be troubled on their side of the defense is because West Virginia isn't getting the success that they want to see on any bumps or demos. The Saints are doing a really good job of avoiding them. Even just the threat of bump there from Fabzo, able to make the defender jump, maybe setting up for a triple tap from Jazzy, not going to go through the pass down from Zai. Can he find Jazzy back to Zai? No Fabzo, though, as he wants to rotate not worth a triple commit as tool goes down the field on a potential double oh wow and he's gonna find just that he might have caught fab so just a little too far to send it off of his line gets the first touch great awareness to know that you have to go quick because jazzy's there for the save but Tool was just faster, beats them to the punch. He gets West Virginia on the board, 3-1. Exactly, West Virginia waking up and trying to get a kickoff goal as well. They're keeping the pressure on, not letting off that gas, continuing to just hammer in on the Saints while they're down. But they're not down just yet. They need to close this two-goal gap. Tool up in the air once again, going to pass it to a teammate, passing over. I think that's high, and now Jazzy finds an opening of his own. He's going high off the roof, trying to get a nice little goal there, but it gets blocked oh out by Tool. I mean, if he literally hits a ceiling double and then dunks, I, I would have lost it. <laughs> that would have probably been the goal so far of what probably would have been a couple months. Uh, it would have taken the top. That would have been insane. But nevertheless, it didn't go in. St. Clair keeping their boots on the ground. They need to try to clear this ball out. Fabs are looking to do just that. The 100 picked up by Matter. First touch wow. is going to come in, but a great bump from Fabso, which should leave a long clear from Jazzy. Great 50, though, from Angel to keep West Virginia in the Saints' backfield. It's awareness like that that's going to help West Virginia climb back into the series. A great 50 there by Angel, and it steps up Matter for an absolute beamer of a shot. That's a great setup as well. Gold wide open, goal wide open. And now, three to two, 40 seconds. If my math is correct. If West Virginia keeps playing at this rate, things are looking very dire for the what Saints. Pass. But that's not looking too bad. They're seeming to be in a great momentous state right now. Big shot on the goal, 30 seconds remaining left on the clock. Time is ticking. I don't know what's gonna happen. This is an absolute nail biter, Patrick. Yeah, I know, and Fabso, he has to stay composed here. He needs to be the man back right now. If Jazzy doesn't get this 50 to go his way, the dunk comes through from Matter. Zai off the backboard, trying to find Jazzy with 100. If Jazzy can just try to find a clear, it will happen. But no, the flip to get over the defender, oh, the save from God. Zai coming through. It was a shot that would have been on from Matter, crashing the backboard, and it's going to come down to Angel's last shot, but 50 out from, I believe it was Jazzy. A great job from the Saints, not to overextend. They keep their comms clean. They make sure they rotate perfectly on the defense and they take the first game what an absolutely insane first game that was down to the wire it was right in front of their net at that last second but just the, the hat trick from Zai gave them the entire game right there yeah I mean that's the man who I called in the beginning was going to have to be the one who really keeps the offense on their toes. He, he's the man who was shooting like absolutely lights out the first series. I expected that again. He did nothing short of delivering exactly what I thought he was going to do. Perfect. And I will say before you yeah. come in, if that game is going to be just a foreshadow of what the series is going to be, sign me up. This is going to be incredible. <laughs> this is going to be incredible. And now West Virginia coming back for it with a vengeance, winning the kickoff. Not for long as St. Clair already pushing over to their side. Jazzy, though, has to play defense carefully here. Knocks it over Angel. Sai flying in hot there to the ball <laughs> off the wall. Trying to get a crazy setup. Big disruption from Angel, though. And I thought Zai was going for the redirect. That would have been absolutely disgusting. Fabso with the pass. Can Zai be there? Soft touch, a smart play as he gets it over one defender. Does he have a flip to maybe go for the double? No, not quite. Pops it over Matter, but with more boost. Matter should be able to stay composed. Clearing off his own back wall. He has one defender to beat in Jazzy before looking for a pass. Jazzy, great touch off the ceiling. Who can be there first? It's going to be the man himself, Jazzy, to find the clear. But danger not done yet, as the Saints still need to find yet another clear. So West Virginia moves in there. 
find another clear and quick matter shooting it up in the air off the wall trying to find something anything trying to eke something out here but things are just looking crazy for the saints getting a nice pressure on the goal but not finding a good setup as the defense is just too strong both of West Virginia's players. The double commit on the defense is absolutely tantamount here. So we see Tool going for another shot. Trying to open something up. The demo from Angel on side is going to be a huge opening, but it looks like Jazzy just barely saves it out there. Another shot on the goal. They need to keep the defense strong, and Jazzy is just doing so. Side back in the saddle here. Going to try and get it out of the hands of West Virginia. Ooh, I mean, this is tough. The defender beat out over the top by Matter, but the clear comes in from Jazzy looking for a double, but he's going to leave it down for Zai. Zai looking for the dunk, but Tool able to place it around. Fabso able to just reset his car to try to find the pass, but it's not going to happen. Tool moving down, leaves it for Angel, who gets demoed out by Jazzy. However, that leaves an opening. Jazzy with the shadow defense off the ceiling to get rid of that play. Zai with the 50 down to Fabso. Can they find the pass? Can they find the shot? No, not quite. Angel with a brilliant save. And now we're two minutes in without a goal. But that was just about to be one there, but Tool saved it out. And now we're back into things. Sai trying to find a slow goal, not going to quite find it, trying to get a reset for his team. Matter just absolutely disruptive here. Sai going on the offense. He needs another goal. He's hungry for it. It's been too long. And now we go back to Jazzy here. Has to play the defense tool. Is going absolutely insane here on the offense. Jazzy with an amazing again. air carry here. Going for an absolutely amazing goal, but gets disrupted once again. And it's a great play down the other end by Matter. He almost caught the Saints a little bit overextended, but I believe one of them were able to stay back and keep their lines eye. Not enough boost to try to go for a free set, so he has to try to go for a 50. He's going to get it, but Matter on the other end has full boost, can try to get a reset or a dunk over Fabso. Fabso breaking up the play, leaves it for Zai. This should be a corner read into a pass. And it's going to be just that. Jazzy able to find the goal off a brilliant pass from Zai. I want to see this one back. I want to see if he maybe got a secondary touch. He might have. I'm very unsure, but even then, I don't think it would have mattered. Jazzy was lined up perfectly, and he slots one past the defender. Amazing lineup from Jazzy. Absolutely amazing. He was hungry for it. He's been on defense so long this game. He wants to know he can play the offense as well. And now it's being sent over to West Virginia. Once again, the pressure is on. The defense is a little shaky now after that goal, but things are looking to be tightened up here. They're staying dialed in they're not going to overextend too much matter gonna go for a major air carry but gets dunked down huge spike from Zai there and now the saints just have to try to hold you know again it is going to be the backflip from jazzy so he has to re you know evaluate what he needs to do his priority switch it from offense to defense looking for a 50 now to leave it for Zai. tool with a great cut of rotation though and he cuts the saints off with low boost now from Jazzy and Fab, so it's going to be difficult. But Zai off the backboard has to play backboard defense. Does so exactly just that, and he needs to find a 50 or carry the ball to leave Fabso with boost. He has enough time, and he's done enough there for Fabso to get down the field. At least give Saints some room to breathe. But just as I say that, two of them get killed by Tool, and now it should be a West Virginia attack. Should be an all-out attack from West Virginia. They need to get a goal, and they need to get one soon. The defense from St. Clair is looking very, very good, though. It's going to be tough to get it past them. But if there's anyone to do it, it's going to be West Virginia. It's in their corner. It's on their side. They need to just keep up the offense. And in time, they will find a goal that will be true. They need to find something perfect, though. They're not going to find it, though. Zai is trying to clear this goal. Jazzy and get it off the side. Fabso going to be the one to lead the charge, try and pass it over to his teammates there. Side. And again, I was going to say, just because their pinch just back in, it's really good awareness from West Virginia. They're able to keep the offense, but on the side of St. Clair, their boost management is just so good. They can find all the little pockets to stay in it. The pass down to Matter has a little more looking for a 50, but Fabso, the man to it first. An absolutely crazy game so far. They want to secure this game with one more goal, and they just barely didn't as Angel finds the save. And now things are looking dire. Ten seconds left. West Virginia needs a goal, and they need one now with a double demo on the loose. And that is the opening. Fabso blocks it out off the wall side, looking for one last goal to seal the deal here. But it's already been sold to St. Clair. They are 2-0 in the series so far. And i got to say, absolutely different game from the last game. 1-0 to the 3-2. to two. Right, I mean, they find the first goal and then they just they just play as if they, they can just hold. They just need to waste time. They go for time burn. But I will say, 
it's awfully dangerous because when you're doing that at the same time, your priorities shift a little bit. You're looking for midfield control. You're not looking to overextend on, overextend on attacks. But Except for Jazzy. The other th- <laughs> yeah. But the other thing I will say is then that also doubles as, okay, if you're not going to overextend for attacks and you're not going to really hard commit for attacks, you're essentially inviting West Virginia in for potentially dangerous attacks. And you have to be able to sit there and say, yeah, we can cover that. That's a lot of confidence going down. And I think that St. Clair, you know, they did a great job there. Uh, you can't really ask for much more. The fact that only one save had to be made, it meant that the 50s before the pass was able to come out were being made by St. Clair. And again, when you're just not letting the offense even get started, that's massive. I told you before we started this series, <laughs> I was going to be shocked if a team goes up 2-0 but I will say, if it was going to happen, I'm very glad that it's on the Saints' side. <laughs> exactly. So, like you said, let's see this team seal the deal in this last game. St. Clair College Green Green looking so good already from the kickoff. Already putting so much pressure on West Virginia. Fab, so going to try and stop that attack from the start. But now West Virginia putting an opening of their own side. Going to have to carry this up the wall here. Things are looking very explosive from the start. And now Jazzy has to play reserve, has to make sure that he gets the clear here. Has some boost. He's going to use it to just get back down as Fabso tries to clear of his own. But Matter off the ceiling, he has the double as well. Jazzy with a soft touch has to try to play control because he needs that back boost. He'll be able to pick that just up as he calls over Zai to find the clear. Fabso with the shot, but it will be just wide as it won't be any problem for Matter to clear out. And now, as the ball goes back down, it will be left for Zai. However, a little bit of an air in touch. It is Angel now with the ball, has a pass out. Who's going to get to it first? It will be Tool winning on the 50. Zai has to sit there. He was a little awkward. Calls over Fabso, but Fabso's right where he needs to be. They find the save yet again. They find the save. They're going to go for it here. Zai and Fabso just putting up so much pressure on this orange net. They're just running circles around West Virginia right now. And they need to find a goal. They need to find it quick. They want to play that defensive style. But it looks like West Virginia are going to play offensive here. Ignore that. Throw caution to the wind and go on an all-out offense. It's here in the corner. Fabso looking for the clear. Can't quite find it, though. Jazzy, though, going to be the one to go on the assault. But it's not going to be enough as Angel is on that defense always. And now the clear being sent out the 50 from, I believe it was Fab. So now down to Jazzy who gets the clear, but it's going to be volleyball right back from Tool. Zai with a great pass. Can the pass be made out from Jazzy? No, not quite. He would have been looking for Fabso for the shot, but Fabso doing a good job. Just being sure he doesn't go too far up. Zai, drop down pass, back to Jazzy. The bouncer shot, but it's not going to be anything too big for Tool to deal with. Fabso to commit, trying to force a defender out. Sealing double opportunity for Zai, but the defender meets him off the backboard. Off the backboard and into the air. Jazzy looking absolutely crazy right now on the offense, but that leaves a little bit of defense to be wanted. Now Tool going on the offense. It's 0 0. We're halfway through this game, and things are at a standstill, but the Saints are just putting up so much pressure. Not letting Tool get too close here, but it looks like Matter is going to be the one to go for an opening shot. Absolutely amazing save from Fabso, though. And he's just got to stay composed. He knows his first teammates on the shadow defense, but he just has to stay quickly on that near post in case the save wasn't made. He does a great job reacting, and he keeps the Saints on a clean sheet for now. Zai with a clear past Angel, and now he's going to move on to Matters, see if he can get the ball past him. A good 50 down for Jazzy. The shot being left out, but it will be Jazzy to not have that happen for him. It will not be a goal, but he gets a demo for his efforts. Zai off the sidewall trying to find Jazzy again. Jazzy has just been so aggressive this game. It's very clear to me that Fabso has been the third man for most of the series. A ceiling attempt of his own now. A pass down to Zai. The shot wow. being found. An absolutely incredible play by Fabso to Zai. Look at this right now. Great job controlling the ball. Has the flip off the ceiling. Zai with the pre-jump. He already knows where he's going to place this. And no West Virginia defenders able to find that corner. And now the seals have broken. The limiters are off. We're going to see some crazy gameplay coming up from West Virginia as they need this goal, and they need it quick. I mean, look how fast. They're going for a goal of their own. That's going to be Angel scoring a goal for West Virginia, putting themselves back on the scoreboard. And they got to throw caution to the wind. They have to put all their eggs in one basket. It, it is going to be Angel, and I believe it was maybe two. 
think maybe I got that wrong. But again, nevertheless, West Virginia able to find a goal of their own. Matter with a quick demo, and now it is going to be Tool looking for Angel off the sidewall. Flip in. Wow. Hand. It is the great demo, but the shot was just over the top of the bar. The fourth man on defense being the crossbar to get things done for St. Clair. Matter with a reset of zone off the ceiling, trying to find the air dribble and maybe the 50, but no, not going to happen. And now Jazzy off the back wall has a reset as well, but he's going to use to fake it, trying to get over the defender. He will do just that as it was Angel who he beat out, but he's not able to get it past Matter and Tool who clear it down. Jazzy pre-jumping again, maybe a team pinch, fakes it out for Zion the shot, but Angel not a very big task as he just sits on the backboard, able to clear that one away. On the backboard, nice clear here. Jazzy, he needs a clear of his own. Going to go on an offense here, up in the air. Barely wins the 50 there. Angel, though, going to keep the offense going. And now Tool has sealed the deal. Two to one with one minute remaining. St. Clair now has a tall order to fix. Right, I mean, that's the problem, right? Uh, they catch St. Clair on the side of West Virginia, lacking a little bit, just a little bit on the defensive side, the rotation not as clean as we are usually used to seeing. So, now on the side of Sinclair College Green, what do you got for me? It's going to be Fabso to fake the flip and able to get the pass down. So I believe it was Jazzy, half flip to try to repass it down. The bump play looking to happen from Fabso, but he's not going to find anyone. The pinch from Matter, good job controlling the ball, but now he's got to worry about Zai off the ceiling. Pass down to Fabso, but the shot just missed out. It was a great opportunity for St. Clair Green, and they're going to want that one back. We want that one back. There's 30 seconds left on the clock. It's do or die for the Saints. They want to get this one done in the 3-0 fashion. They don't want their opponents to crawl this one back from the depths here. Jazzy getting one huge demo. The opening is here. Sai going for a setup, but now it's disrupted once again with the demo of their own matter going on an all -out offensive here. 9-10. Time is ticking. Tool now going on the offense, just trying to run out the clock. Angel going to try and disrupt the clock, send it down into the dumps here, and that's going to be West Virginia getting a point in the series. Very calm and composed from Angel. They're doing a great job sitting on the backboard. He knows he has the control to get over the Saints player in order to grab the 50 that would have set up Jazzy for the shot. It was a great play by Angel, a heads-up one, one that West Virginia needed, and a great response to going down 2-0. An absolutely amazing response indeed. They were down a point there, but they answered right back, took the momentum into their hands. Now I'm worried that there's going to be that reverse sweep situation over on our end, you know? They were up. You said teams don't come back from that. Now things are looking a little bit dire, Patrick. I mean, I know teams come back from that. But I'm just saying, reverse sweeps don't happen that often. <laughs> I know, but I'm worried. However, I'm worried it might be the the different <laughs> the way I didn't want it to happen. <laughs> I'm just I'm glad that at least the Saints are on match point. They can take a minute here, and as a player reconnects to the lobby, they can take this time to just make sure, talk amongst each other, realize maybe what went wrong, what they could do next time better. I really will say. There were opportunities there for St. Clair to capitalize. It was Fabso with just barely a miss from a pass from Zion. Maybe the pass a little bit too strong. But on the side of St. Clair, that was just one to name a few. We did have opportunities. At the end of the day, we just got to capitalize. And I know exactly. those players can. I'm not saying anything about that. That was just, you know what? Once in a while, everybody has a little bit it of a It happens. It happens. But again, on the side of West Virginia, I have to praise them for being risky. They know it's tied 1-1, but they know that if they can get a lead, very much like St. Clair Green, they think they can hold, they're gonna do just that. Do just that, the kickoff is upon us here. Things are looking very That's good it. for West Virginia. They're keeping the pressure on so far. Zai looking to go for a clear. Patrick, I don't know what to think of this. Things are looking dire. Well, right now, I was going to say that was two late backboard saves that had to be made. And oh my god, Tool, what in the hell was that? An amazing play there to put it off his own crossbar to keep it safe. Fabso trying to find a 50 to find the shooter, but it's not going to happen. A little bit of a commit now from Jazzy. He has to be the first one up to that ball. He's going to do just that. Zai leaves it for Fabso. Fabso trying to find a pass, maybe down to Jazzy. But no, not enough power behind the shot. The boost levels weren't there for Jazzy to find the goal and now it is going to be West Virginia to clear out the pass down to Angel from Tool. They catch the Saints green on an overextension. 
and they make him pay for it. It's going to be a great pass down from Tool. He has the boost necessary to try to find the clear. Just a heads up play from West Virginia University. And now, to see who is going to be able to capitalize on this kickoff. It will be a kill, and now Zai with the first touch, able to get this pad as well, up to the ceiling, pinches it down, maybe trying to find another touch, fakes it up to Jazzy, but no, Fabso gonna have to be the next man to it. Able to take the flip and the boost. He is able to find a solo play of his own now, potentially looking for a pass, double is off the ceiling to try to find Zai. Control touch, a great one at that. Sealing the boost, looking for a bump play on the keeper, but Jazzy comes back, tries to keep possession of the ball. He has zero in a dream, but he's trying to find a 50. Fabso is going to be the next man to it as Zai gets demoed from Matter, and it should be a West Virginia attack. It should be West Virginia attack, but things are looking very dire here. Saints need to clear, and they need one now. They cannot let them get up another point. Things are looking absolutely dire for the Saints. I mean, it looks like West Virginia has found their number, and I think they got to change that number up soon enough. And it looks like they're trying to. What a disruption from Angel, just being an absolute annoyance over in that Saints net. But the Saints just barely found an opening, but Tool's going to find the save. But they're not unrelenting here. They're finding another setup. Another block, though. It's just heads up defense from West Virginia. They're able to see that it was the same thing on the Saints side. Right now, it's the tail of tapes. We're seeing both sides on the field. The defenses are having to make save after save after save as the offense produces shot after shot after shot. Who's going to be the one to break first? Fabso, the clear out. It is going to be on Angel with barely any boost. Has to go back, finds the 100 pad, challenges Zai, gets past him finding Fabso, they get into a rule one. Jazzy off the back wall, has to do some good here to find the clear, has a flip, able to find another play downfield. Zai with the flip, oh. can he get it past the defender? No, not quite, finds the demo. Fabso, a nice touch underneath, looking for a 50 to set up Zai on the wall, and he's gonna do just that. Soft touch, he has Jazzy up for the pre-flip, has a ceiling pass, down to Zai, but it's not gonna happen. Would've been an incredible one-two-one play from St. Clair but it's just gonna have to wait until another day. It's gonna have to wait, but the Saints can't wait around too much longer. There's only two minutes left on the clock and they need to score a point to try and seal this one because the mental boom that's gonna come after your opponent gets up 2-0, brings this to a potential reverse sweep. It's gonna be too dire, but Tool is on the defense. He's just a monster on, in that goal here. But the Please opening is fall. free! <laughs> oh, thank God. The monster isn't home this time. He's not under the bed. He's nowhere to be found. And the opening is just found by Fabzo and Pids or Zai. Absolutely amazing goal. Oh, Fabso had to sneak that, that like a matter of millimeters in order to find that. He needs to find the inside post, and he does just that. Jazzy up for a solo play, has the ceiling double to try to make it 2-1, but it's not going to happen. Zai, great composure, off the sidewall, tries to find a flip, he has the bump instead! Fabso with the shot, but another brilliant save from Matter, and West Virginia University keep this thing tied at a stick of stick. Yeah, they're keeping this one all tied up here. West Virginia looking a little bit antsy for another goal. They don't want this to go to an OT, but who would have it any other way? Amazing fake, almost snakes it past the goal there. Zai up in the air, trying to get a big setup for his team. Keep them guessing from all angles, up, down, all around. Need to get a clear here, get it out of the hands of the enemy. Almost getting it towards that goal. Fabso continuing to just put on the pressure. And again, St. Clair, they're doing a great job. I just fear that they might get a little too cocky on their offense and they might find themselves down with not a lot of boost on the defensive side. So far, that hasn't been the case. As all Saints have a lot of boost. The demo coming up. That should be a pass play to Zai. Great job from Angel settling the 2v1. Fabso with a nice shot. It's going to be nearly in, but it's not going to happen. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Zai on a 1v2. He deals with it just well, just enough but he should be getting bumped by Angel. St. Clair need to find a clear. Jazzy should be the one to do it, but he finds a demo and it's going to be the 51 out by West Virginia instead. The pass down to Angel, the shot saved out by Jazzy. Amazing save from Jazzy, 20 seconds left on the clock. Potential OT situation. Time is taking good pass over to the side, but it's not gonna be good enough. It's up in the air right now. Tool trying to get control of the ball. Kind of whips it there, but it's not gonna be good enough to stop him. He's in position for a pass. And now Fabso and the rest of the team going for one last all out offense. Could this be it? Last second on the clock. It's gonna hit the ground potentially. It's still going. Fabso gonna pass to Zai and try and make something happen here. Jazzy going for the triple commit, going for the spike. And we're here. First overtime of the season. And this one's 
and if you're West Looking Virginia, crazy. you can go for it. They didn't have a lot of boost. St. Clair with a booming clear out of Jazzy. It needs to be a West Virginia defender to find the clear here back. But Jazzy just staying in their end, able to try to find the repressure. And now Zai has a free shot, but it's going to be Matters staying composed in the West Virginia net. Not too troubling of a shot for him to deal with. Fabso off the floor, has to try to fake it out for Zai. Does he have the double? Yes, he does! And it's going wow. to fall through! A brilliant play from St. Clair College Green as they take the series 3-1 absolutely amazing showcase from the saints and zai the rest everyone had a role to play jazzy amazing deep sense fab so finding those amazing passes and Zai just being the leader the striker getting those goals after goal and i mean that was just that was incredible <laughs> i thought it was gonna go to five i'll be so honest like i thought coming into this again my prediction was five but again just it's so like it's so tough to find people to recover from a reverse sweep at this level. West Virginia just unfortunately weren't able to get it done on their side. But fortunately for us, we were able to find the win. And soon we will have an interview with Jazzy, who was doing so good on the offense. I really loved what I was seeing out of him. All the deep commits, able to find the bumps, the demos. He was the enforcer for the side of St. Clair. And now we have him back for your interview, sir. What Welcome a series back. you guys just put on. <laughs> a beautiful job. And Thank I mean, you. man, just coming off the back of it, uh, what, what did you think? I thought like the, the, the first two games, they were like very, we had like so much control. Like it was very easy to beat them the first two games, I would say. Then the third game, I would say the nerves got kind of to us, which is like, it shouldn't happen, you know? Like on this <laughs> level, like you shouldn't like nerves got to affect you. Then like we talked about it. We, we told like, guys, oh no, so like, spike, sparking a little bit, we need to fix that. And we're like, just do whatever, just play good. If we lose, we lose, it's not the end of the world, mm -hmm. right? So just play what, you, what you're capable of and get it up at the end of the day. Yeah, you did an absolutely amazing job. You get, the, the mental's a huge part of it, right? Especially it when it's a first game, you want to do your best. Yeah. And it happens, right? Sometimes they put a little bit tricky, the nerves, you know, maybe make a little mistake here and there. But you guys really cleaned it up in that third game. It's an absolutely amazing, blood-pumping game to watch. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah, I'll say um, that was quite the performance from all three of you guys. Zai, obviously, with a huge first game, finding the hat trick off the back of some brilliant passes and pressures from the whole team. I really got to say, uh, as far as it goes for Fab, so an amazing defender on someone you can rely on on the back as the third man who can find these booming clears and make sure that you guys are able to just be free up in the midfield to try to take challenges in order to convert onto pressures. How does that feel to have a teammate like that who you can just, you know, I mean, I know you can depend on both of them, but Fab so it looked like on that series, especially just being back and being able to calm with you guys on his positioning and able to help you guys out on the defense as well. How does that feel when you have somebody that you can just rely on? on the um, it's side? very important for gameplay, especially to have that. I mean, as you can see, like we play a very, very risky play style, I would say. <laughs> yes. Like with a lot of free jumps. And like we, we force in the corner, we get demos in the corner, we drive on the ground line, which is like every coach, like the first coaches we have, they will tell you not to push on the ground line. And we do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you got to play the gambit, you know? <laughs> uh, I was going to say, if anything, that was, I think, what West Virginia did well to find that third game was I noticed they were definitely getting the bumps a whole lot yeah. more. Uh, that was kind of their thing as they started throwing all their eggs in one basket. I noticed in the first two games they were looking a little bit ropey on the attacks. It was kind of like they weren't really sending as many and the thing was they were really playing conservative and that ended up biting them in the back because on the forefront when you have such an aggressive team it means that you got to just go save after save after save and if you guys are getting demos and bumps stealing boost eventually boost becomes thin and you're not able to have that yeah. but it seemed like they kind of had that in the gas tank uh no, no pun intended they were able to find uh the bumps on the other side play more aggressive match your tempo in game three but again, like you said, you guys just recovered absolutely amazing in game four. And I got nothing else to say. You guys are simply incredible. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, that first game, though, was absolutely crazy. It was just goals back and forth. The hat mm. trick also from Zai was an amazing thing to see. Mm. But um, you also had some amazing defensive and offensive plays. It was great to see you play both sides there. Yeah, thank you a lot. 
But uh, do you have anything else yeah. to say? I gotta say, like every time I play a series, like a competitive series, and like I talk about it afterwards, I forget everything. I'm like yeah. a huge goldfish <laughs> in regard of that. It's like when I rewatch, like I can remember things, like in like how how it was like live again. But like right after a series, I just completely blank out. <laughs> I don't know why. I just forget everything. <laughs> exactly. You, you gotta keep it, keep your mind fresh and empty yeah, for, yeah, for new information, yeah, right? Exactly, you're in yeah. the moment. You're yeah, in the moment. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, thank you very much for joining us up here. We're gonna close the show out. Thank you very much, everyone at home, for joining us right here. And of course, we gotta thank our sponsors. Thank you to Tim Horton Subway, Alienware. That's a new one, and Saint Clair. Co College Alumni Association and the, the St. Clair SRC. Yeah, we have so many sponsors now. It's like <laughs> yeah, we got money. That's all I'm saying. Exactly, Look, exactly. What we're also going to say is uh, <laughs> we are going to be raiding the CFGC after. So stay here if you want to go join that stream. It's I got one more incredible. thing to add, though. What do you have to add? Well, this? if you don't have, a, if you haven't had enough of us Saints, make sure to go check out our Saints Gaming CA VOD channel on YouTube, so you can watch games like this after that. Get the nice clips, watch everything in the past, and so much more. But once again, thank you very much, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you next time. Go have fun rating, and we'll see you later. Bye bye.